Welcome back. We are closing in on time for some fun in the sun and some places offer things like a free weekend to entice you to visit a potential vacation destination. But timeshares and vacation clubs are often synonymous with high pressure sales tactics, which could leave you on the hook for a lifelong commitment to help you avoid some pitfalls. Sarah Wetzel with the BBB joins us. Good to have you with us. Thank you. So walk us through how big of a problem these types of scams are. Yeah, so it's something Better Business Bureau has continued to see. So last week we actually released an in-depth study about vacation schemes mm -hmm. and our data shows that from 2020 to 2022, Better Business Bureau received nearly 30,000 complaints and about 10,000 negative customer reviews about travel companies. And a lot of them had to do with the timeshare industry with nearly nearly $32 million in disputed funds. Wow, so what are some of the most common complaints when it comes to timeshare sales pitches? Yeah, well, consumers say that they feel completely misled. Mm -hmm. They're getting all these promises in the initial sales pitch. They feel like they're getting a great deal. Some of them may even see it as an investment, but then when it comes to reselling, they're feeling, figuring out that it's very hard to do. They're on the hook for, like you said, a lifelong commitment yeah. when they thought it could just be for a short period of time. So it's just really people feeling let down. Yeah, a lot of fine print that goes along exactly. with that. Well, we've probably all heard the commercials for timeshare exit companies. Yes. Of course, some of them are legit, but others mm -hmm. are not. Yes, it's just like anything. There are some good, legitimate, mm -hmm. trustworthy companies, but unfortunately, there are some that are not. And what we're seeing with timeshare exit companies is that they're asking for the money up front. So consumers are paying thousands of dollars to get out of their timeshare, and then it never happens. So they're just out that money and still having to pay all the fees for their timeshare. A double whammy at that yes. point. So what should anyone considering a timeshare exit company do? Well, for anything, timeshare exit or timeshares in general, extensively research the company. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're looking at that contract at the verbiage if it says anything about a lifelong commitment. Another thing is about the heirs. Sometimes people think that if something would happen to them, their co their contract would just go away, nothing mm -hmm. would happen. But a lot of times it's written that the heirs would have to take it over. So they're now in charge of all these fees. And that's another thing that we're hearing is that people are in these contracts and these fees just continue to go up and they never realized that was even an option. So look at the fine print, beware of the high pressure sales tactics, know how much you're going to get back. Like I said, some people see this as an investment, but it's not. They sometimes get a lot less than what they paid for. Make sure you know all the way around what you're getting yes. yourself into. All right, Sarah, all thank right. you so much for being with us. And remember, you can always check a business's rating or report a scam by going to BBB.org. The news continues on News 4. It is the video that will have everyone talking. An umpire attacked from behind. Next at 430, that umpire is speaking out. Also ahead, the Biden administration takes steps to deal with what is being called a potential crisis at the border.